action games. The games within the action genre share many similarities. Whether you're slashing up orcs or killing demons with a shotgun, there's just something about them that makes them super satisfying to play. But what is that key? The answer is rhythm. But what does rhythm actually mean in this context? Come with me, and let's take a trip to Gotham City. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. So, what do I mean by rhythm? Every time you attack someone, you're creating your own rhythm. Batman Arkham Knight from Rocksteady Studios is a perfect example of this. The game encourages you to maintain your rhythm through the combo system. After filling the combo meter, you gain access to a special finisher, and at higher combo levels, your punches deal extra damage. However, the game also encourages the player to keep a steady rhythm in combat in different ways. For example, correctly timing your attack with your next punch or a perfectly timed counter deals extra damage. Additionally, as Batman, you have the whole suite of bat gadgets at your disposal. These gadgets allow the player to alter the rhythm without disrupting it. Too far from an enemy? Hit him with a battering. These gadgets not only allow the player to keep up their rhythm, it helps stop combat from falling into the monotony of punch 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 all the time. Your enemies, on the other hand, seek to disrupt your rhythm in different ways. Let's look at the basic goon. Simple. Mindless. Maybe even a little dumb. On their own, these guys don't pose too much of a threat. In a larger group, however, they can be more dangerous. Arkham Knight encourages the player to keep moving through the amount of enemies, keeping the player weaving in and out of combat. Focus on one enemy too long and you'll get hit, losing your combo and your rhythm. There's also different enemy types, which can counter common styles of play to force players to mix things up. A prominent example of this is the shield enemy. They can block attacks with their large riot shield, and hitting the shield, importantly, breaks your combo. You can either find ways around the shield, such as aerial attacks, or you can bypass it completely with a combo finisher. The game mixes up enemy variety to keep players on their toes, never settling for a single strategy. While the Arkham series and the combat within still holds up today, modern games have taken this idea of rhythm to the next level. Let's move from the dark streets of Gotham to somewhere a little colder. God of War Ragnarok is the long-awaited sequel to Santa Monica Studios' 2018 hit in God of War. While it inherits many of the same systems from the previous game, it also builds upon those systems, further enhancing the rhythmic feel of combat. Like the previous game, you have access to two weapons, the Leviathan Axe and the Blades of Chaos. Each weapon has its own strategies. The Leviathan Axe focuses on methodical, precise combat. Every swing has weight behind it. One of the key features of the axe is its ability to freeze enemies. When enemies are frozen, the player has time to choose different options. Maybe they retreat and heal, or they might choose to wind up a harder hitting attack. The player can also choose to throw the axe, opting for barehanded combat before summoning the axe back to their hand. The Blades of Chaos focus on rapid combat. Kratos swings around the blades in the flurry, cutting up any enemies in the way. With the blades, the player is always on the offensive 
attacks come so quickly that enemies have less time to retaliate. The blades also have the ability to set enemies on fire, dealing damage over time. After all, enemies can't disrupt you if they're dead. Both of these weapons come with an extra incentive to keep your rhythm. If you land enough hits without being hit yourself, your weapons deal extra damage, as well as giving you access to a brief buff that enhances the weapons for a short time. So, you have two different weapons, each with their own rhythm in combat. Why not just stick to one? Like the Arkham series, the answer lies with the enemies. Enemy attacks can be roughly grouped into four different categories. Normal attacks, guard breaks, unblockable attacks, and interruptible attacks. These attacks can also interrupt the player's flow, but the player also has options for either avoiding these attacks or taking the rhythm back. Nearly any attack can be dodged if the player times it right, most normal attacks can be guarded against, normal attacks and guard breaks can be parried if the player shields at the correct time, allowing them to take back initiative. Interruptibles can be interrupted by a shield break, opening the enemy to attack. Players also have a universal option to take back the rhythm, Rage. Ragnarok has three different types of Rage, and while there are small differences, they share a key similarity in interrupting enemies and making Kratos invincible for the duration. In a pinch, they're a handy get out of jail free card for when Kratos is stunned or about to die. Through it all, there's a key way that God of War Ragnarok helps players to maintain their rhythm. Executions. Executions are a way to give the player a small break during combat. When Kratos is executing an enemy, he's invincible from any damage from the moment the player confirms the execute with the button press. Executions also give the player some visceral eye candy to look at, keeping them engaged and ready for the fight to resume. When an enemy is giving the player particular trouble, executions also work as a cathartic way to release stress and finish the fight. Both Arkham Knight and Ragnarok are excellent examples of rhythm in action games. But deep in the annals of hell, another game takes the idea of rhythm to the max. Metal Hellsinger from the developer The Outsiders is a rhythm FPS action game. The premise of the game is that you kill demons, but the catch is that every action, shooting, dashing, jumping, etc., has to be on beat. Though the presentation is different from the previous two games, the core idea of the player maintaining their own rhythm and enemies seeking to disrupt it is the same. Instead of rhythm being used as a tool to guide the player in fights, rhythm is put front and center in Metal Hill Singer. To complement this idea, the head-banging heavy metal music of each level enforces the rhythm, without making the rhythm too complex for players to keep track of. Anytime the player attacks, it must be on beat. The game is fairly lenient with this. There's a small window where attacks will register as on beat, and attacks that aren't on beat will still deal a very small amount of damage. That said, each attack that is perfectly on beat will deal extra damage to enemies. Like in Arkham Knight, the game encourages the player to maintain their rhythm through the use of a combo system. Again, Attacks at a higher combo level will deal extra damage. In Metal Hellsinger, however, there's an extra incentive. With each increasing combo level, extra elements are added to the music. At the final level, time 16, vocals are added to the track.
Taking damage lowers the combo level, meaning that the vocals will fade out alongside other instruments if the player loses the rhythm too much. By tying the music to the combo system, Metal Hellsinger entices the player into wanting to keep their rhythm steady, beyond just getting a high score or dealing extra damage. Though the enemies here are simpler than the other games, they still serve the same purpose, disrupting rhythm. Each enemy has their own unique attacks, but an important note is that they also attack outside of a player's rhythm. They're not beholden to the same beat that the player is, which further highlights this idea of disrupting rhythm. Metal Hellsinger takes inspiration from its action game predecessors, while also borrowing from the rhythm game genre to make something truly special. Rhythm is the beating heart of every action game. Whether you're beating up criminals in Gotham, battling gods, or killing demons in hell, it's the rhythms that keep you going. The hidden ones and the not so hidden ones. Thanks for watching.